So what's up guys, I'm back again. It's the end of the month. I started this at the beginning of the month, but March has been a crappy month for weather. We had a lot of snow, so my car is parked in a garage, my parents' garage for about the entire month, um, since maybe my last video. <laughs> so now I finally got the car back, I'm home. And it's warm today, but it's raining and it's really crappy outside, but I'm determined to finish this so I can test out the camera. Now I started my wiring through the boot, Next to the boot, I'm sorry, I couldn't get it inside the boot, but I decided to just run it, I squeezed it into the firewall there, adjacent to the boot, to run it right through to the um, cavity pocket for the dome light um, module. Now, this module is really hard to get out. On my car, it's very different from other cars. On YouTube, you might see videos where, are even on the forums, people just pulling these things out and putting their fingers in there to access this, sorry, it's a little blurry there. This spring clip is what you want to access to release it. That's the only way to get this down. Um, so some people pull their, put their finger in it, pull that out, and just pull that clip back in, and it pops out. But on my car, for some reason, I don't know if it's a um, model year thing, a production year, I had to remove the, uh, the sun visor clips. I have them actually right here. And that in itself is a bit of a task because it comes out with these... It's a weird Torx driver that you have to pull out. And then this clip seems to be bolted right to maybe the the roof of the car because uh, it, look how long that thing is. So that that pretty much plugs out and you have to twist and pull that out. But that's like, like an inch nailed in there. That's why it's literally impossible to do it without um, removing that. And then once you got that removed, you could pull this down and basically you're... Uh, Oops, I kind of messed up my thing there. So, and basically you could access the clips from the back side. And once you access the clips, then these clips that you access release and then this pops down. Now, that being said, now that it's down, you could access the, the plug where this is gonna tap into. So that's the power plug that's going to the camera and that's the bridge connector. So it's just basically tapping into that for power. So what it is, you're gonna unplug one of these connectors here. It's the one all the way on the driver's side, I believe, what's this? Next to the SOS switch. And that's going to connect back into the car, but this is gonna tap right into that with just basically a power, <clears throat> it looks like a power and a ground wire or something like that. It's just the three wires there that's gonna power the camera. That's all you need. Now, it was confirmed that the extra module that came, comes with the C, uh, CHYH Kit. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. CYHY kit. This is just a comfort access module that's going to. You could plug it, and that would plug into this extra mod dongle right there. I'm not going to do that because this is uh, is a coding module that codes the computer to make the key fob do different things to the car, like unlock, lock the car with alarm um, sound or sound with the horn or to make the lights blink when you lock the car as well as a bunch of other things that I couldn't really translate from the Chinese now I don't want to risk connecting that to the car and then the car just you know goes crazy from whatever that's trying to tell the car to do so that you could just leave if all you need is the camera you do not have to worry about this um, but I'm not gonna touch I'm just gonna leave that like that so now that we're almost done um, it everything seems um, to line up properly I mean the connectors everything seems perfect so now I'm gonna put everything back and start the car and see how the camera runs and uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. So everything's back together. I have my Samsung memory card here. So this is the card I'm gonna to use to install in the camera. And I just went to Best Buy. I think this was $12 is what I paid for this. Now this camera, the thing with it, it only takes up to a 32 gigabyte card according to the uh, seller. And uh, so I'm not gonna risk putting a bigger card in it. I don't see why it wouldn't take a bigger card, but uh, this is the card I wanna use, so. I'm not even sure how this goes in. I should have done this before. <laughs> and so, the thing with the 32 gigabyte card, even though it's small, it loops over um, stuff that you don't want, so. And so I put everything back together. Now I think this is still a little loose. I'm gonna keep this like loose. I could always clip in and access that again. So I don't want that to be clipped in firmly. I know if I hit a pothole in New York City, this is gonna come falling down on me, but uh, everything tucks away real easy. Um, the, the wire harness and stuff, but um, I just left it just in case I have to go back in and fix any uh, wiring. So I'm just gonna come here and see how to put this 
memory card in. I think it's this way. And get uh, get my pry pry tool. So that's it, it seems like it's in there. So that's where the memory card would go. And uh, and someone was saying, if you have an iOS device, I have my iPad here, I'm gonna go ahead and go to iTunes and get the CYHY uh, app. So I'm gonna do this and come back. Sorry for the um, really amateur camera guys. <laughs> so actually, you know what, let's just do it together. I've got a bit of time, uh, so I'm gonna go to the app store because then I'll probably get questions I like getting questions on um, on the channel so I don't mind I'm showing you guys how to do do things all the way I know some questions people think is stupid so is it the CY HY app and everything's in Chinese as you see there so so that's the app it is an app store I have a Samsung phone which is what I'm actually doing using to record this video so I'm gonna install that and I should turn this music off because YouTube is gonna complain. Snap, I don't know my iTunes password. <laughs> so I'm gonna pause the video and come back. So I got the car started, the camera's on. Now, it's really tricky once you get the app. You have to, bear with me for a minute. I know it's really bright, the screen. This is important because it took me about, I know it's quick for you guys, but it took me like the last 30 minutes to figure this out. Now once you get the app, in there look at my iPad uh, I downloaded the app I remember my password it took me a long time to get it um, you're gonna see this screen in the app and if you keep hitting journal setting anything you hit is gonna ask you to connect to the camera camera not connected now I couldn't figure out how, out how to connect with the app because you don't connect with the app because it took me a while to figure out how to go into my Wi-Fi settings it's strange because I believe most cameras connect with Bluetooth but this is a Wi-Fi source so this is connecting with Wi-Fi to your uh, device. Now, I have a Samsung phone that I use, but this is my iPad, because iOS is much more simpler to describe. So I found CYHY. Once the camera's turned on and the light is, is blue and flashing or green and flashing, it's gonna read it as a CYHY source. And it's gonna ask you for the password. And when you put the password in, it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it connects. And I just connected, so let's go back into the app. CYHY app right there. And that, I guess, uh, let's see what um, we have here. General settings. So now you're in a setting of the uh, of the device. And this is actually really cool because you could, you could do a lot of things here. Size of the pictures, video time per file, so you could, um, time your videos per file you could do the gravity stuff if the car is parked you could do a factory set so you have a lot of options here which is what I like I like options um, there's no good way to hold this and record so let's go back I wonder if I could get a so it reads the SD card is 31 so it is reading a card now and I guess if you want to see the video we could do that there and we could see um, see what it's recording so okay this is interesting so that's that's the camera the camera's on and recording so that's my file there so I'm gonna pause the video and go for a ride guys let's see what this uh, what this bad boy is capable of it actually looks really good so what's up guys so this is the camera recording Avid I'm driving down the road here and you're gonna see this is a really crude way of doing this but um, I just to give you guys a, a quick view so I have a live streaming to my iPad right now of the camera so that's the camera being connected. So how cool is that? So it's the sun is setting. So I'm trying to get the last bit of sunlight in. So, so that's the car in front of me. This, so that's what I'm seeing. And kind of like, that's what the camera's seeing there. So it's a little blurry because I'm switching perspective and um, the sun is setting. So we're driving on a hill here. And that's the Palisades in the distance. And that's how it's seeing that. So, from my end, it looks clear. 